Okay, so in this question, we're going to solve these quadratic congruences. We've got x squared plus 6x plus 5 is congruent with 0, modulus 17. And here we've got the general case, which is the same modulo p, where p is a prime number. So let's go on this side first. So first things to do to solve this, we see we've got the modulus here is a prime. So that is a prime number. So that's good. Next thing here, we've got a quadratic. So what we're going to do is we're going to complete the square first. So that'll give us x plus 3 squared. Now, obviously, with the plus 3, we subtract 9. Add 5 is congruent with 0, mod 17. Just simplify this up a little bit. We've got x plus 3 squared plus 9 minus 5 minus 4. It's congruent with 0, mod 17. Okay, now what we need to do is to bring this minus 4 onto the other side and take the square root on both sides. So now we've got x plus 3 squared is congruent with 4 mod 17. Okay, square root both sides, as we said, x plus 3 is congruent with plus or minus 2 mod 17. Okay, so now we're going to get a couple of solutions here. So subtract 3 from both sides. Let's just split them into 2. So now x will be congruent. So on the minus 2 case here. So minus 2 minus 3 will give us minus 5 mod 17. And on the other one with the positive 2, we'll get x is congruent with minus 1 mod 17. So that's our two solutions so far. So with these minus numbers we can just change them up a little bit. So we've got x is congruent with 12 mod 17, that is the same. And here we've got x is congruent with 16 mod 17. Okay, so these numbers are all congruent. Okay, so basically that's what that's telling us now is that possible solutions are 12 and 16 for these equations. So let's plug in and let's see what we can get. So let's just test, test the 12 one first. So 12 squared plus 6 twelves plus 5 is congruent with 0 mod 17. That's going to give us 144 plus 72 is 216. That gives us 221. So 221 is congruent with 0 mod 17. We can take that, that's fine. Now for the case of 16, 16 squared is 256 plus 16 times 6 is 96 and plus 5. So 256 plus 96 is 352 plus 5 is 357. So 357 is congruent with 0 mod 17. So therefore our solutions are 12 and 17. But not there, they're not the only solutions. So we have infinite solutions for that. So taking the case of 12, basically what we're saying is the solutions are 17k, let's just write this down, x equals 17k plus 12, for k is in the integers. And taking the case of this one here where we've got 17, this one here, so, sorry, not 17, where we've got the case of 16, we say x equals 17k plus 16, again, using this set here where k is in the integers. And that's our two solutions for that function there. Obviously, with this proviso, it must always be an integer. Okay, so now let's have a look at the solution here. Now we can skip all this working out and go straight into taking the square. Let's go down to that stage first. So we've got x, x plus, let's write that x a bit better. So we've got x plus 3 it's, is congruent to square root of plus or minus 2. 
mod P. So now what we do is, again, as we went before, the two solutions. So we've got X is congruent. So let's take the plus two. So plus two minus three is minus one, modulo P. And the other one is X is congruent with minus five, modulo P. Okay, so now what we do is, if you've got x is congruent with minus 1 modulo p, then what we can say is x is congruent with p minus 1 mod p. Now if you put that into this one here, so there's our case here for the minus 1, we've got a 16, p minus 1, 17 minus 1 is 16. And then for the other case, we've got here minus 5, so therefore we can take modulus, x is congruent with p, minus 5, modulus of p. Okay, so basically this will work for all, basically p is in the set of prime integers. That will be the case. Okay, so let's test our general uh, solution here. So a prime number, let's pick 7. So let our prime number equals 7. So therefore what we're saying now, that x will equal 7 minus 1, which is 6, or x will equal 7 minus 5, which is 2. So this is for mod 7. Okay, that's what we're working on now. Okay, so now we're going to plug in x equals 6 just to test our theory. So x equals 6. 6 squared is 36. Plus 6 6 is, that's another 36, that's 72, plus 5 is 77. So 77 is congruent with 0 mod 7. Tick, that's fine. And now for the general case, x equals 2. 2 squared is 4. Plus 12 is 17. Plus 4 plus 12, sorry, 16. Plus 5 is 21. So 21 is also congruent with 0 mod 7. So for this one, we'll just say um, our case here, we've got x equals 6 plus 7k and x equals 2 plus 7k. And that's our general solution for when we're going to plug in for the modulus of 7 i.e. prime number seven. Okay.